Welcome everyone to Minecraft, but I always have to be in water part three. If you have not watched part one and two yet, I highly suggest checking them out. There are these two videos on screen right now. The support on them was absolutely amazing. I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys that subscribed and left a comment. That was absolutely amazing. The support just was absolutely phenomenal. It blew my mind. You guys really made my week. Thank you so much for all the support. So let's begin part three. Um, so first thing I want to do is I want to go check out that village that was back behind this village real fast. So we'll cut to straight to that. All right, so we've arrived back at the first village that I flooded and I got an infinite water source right here, which will help me make my way all the way over to the village i think is back yeah it's back right there so we're gonna make our way down there all right so i found a pretty much easier way to make this infinite water source as i'm coming but as you can see there's my trail on my way it's been about 10 minutes it took me to get from there to here uh, i found this way works a lot better and literally nothing can touch me because the water just pushes it away but just going like this down before i was just double bucketing like placing a bucket there placing one there coming back grabbing more water uh, yeah this way is a lot faster and here we go we have arrived at the village there was a stream right next to it which was really nice made it a lot easier to get here but we have arrived so i it's time to flood the frick out of this village oh my gosh i have water everywhere so they're not lighting on fire oh gosh all right let's get away from him no 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 let's go get him maybe he'll give me it Enchanted boat. I'm fighting the current. Come on. Basic maneuvers. Just dive me down this water. Dive me. Man, this gold armor I've got is pretty good. Just skin. He's gonna kill me. I literally. I can't. I can't fight him. And he's in my trucking water right next to my trucking source. Alright, we found our first chest of the village. Alright, apples and potatoes. Not too bad. And one gold nugget. I think it's a little bit better than bread. Alright, we found our, our second chest. And, okay, actually feathers. Ah, get the heck out of here. Feathers could actually be good to make some arrows later on. Um, is this? There we go. Um, oh man, I guess I should have left more shiz in my thing. There was a lot of bread in there too. I don't know. I guess, oh, I have like six pots. I'll get rid of the pots and I'll grab the bread. Okay. Oh my gosh. The stairs are annoying. Oh heck yeah, we found more books. Let's go. Alright, we only found nine books this time, which is still good, but it wasn't... Oh, never mind. There's one more right here. And we just gotta check out the upstairs and see if there's a chest. Alright, now that I'm done, here is what I did to this village. I completely flooded the entire thing a lot more than I did the last one. And if you see right over there, there is a pillager outpost, which we will try to go to after I go mining to get some iron. So we must take the trail back and we're gonna go mining a little bit. And we're back to the boat. Finally, that took me, no joke, half an hour. It took me half an hour to go down there, loot that village and come back to the boat. It took me 30 minutes. It would normally take just a few minutes to swiftly run down there check all the buildings and just be done it took me half an hour bucketing water and flooding the entire village all right now that i've made it back to base i am going to actually make this bed actually how it should be how i was planning on doing it but i just couldn't figure out how to do it for whatever dumb reason and there we go i have made the water bed looks perfect just just how i want it just like that <laughs> I don't know how I could think about to do that. What I did is I just placed blocks all around here and then I enclosed it and then I just bucketed uh, water. I just took like the water block out here and you know, threw it randomly right there. But then I just removed the blocks and boom, water's in. Oh, 
There we go. All right. I don't like you here. I don't. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Game wants me dead. Time to put a lot of stuff away before I die. Um. Let's make this a double chest. Don't need torches because I'm going underwater. All right. I just looked up how much iron I need to get a full set of iron armor, and I just need 24 ingots. Ingots, ingots, I don't, I don't know. I guess that's one of those, one of those words, but let's just kill this creeper real fast and then we'll dive down in. Alrighty, let's get going. Wow, okay, this is actually a really good find. Come on, give me the air. This is actually a really good find. I wasn't expecting to find a bunch of magma blocks under here. That's actually really interesting. I also found obsidian. I have four diamonds. I want to make a diamond pickaxe. That's like, that's one of my goals is to get a diamond pickaxe. <coughs> diamond pickaxe would be really good. But also at the same time, getting a diamond sword would be really good for going to fight those pillagers. Holy shiz, I almost just dropped in the freaking lava. I don't know. Let me, let me think. Let me think. What do I want more? Pickaxe will give me obsidian, which then I could make an enchanting table to then enchant... A diamond sword. We're just gonna mine, and hopefully, I'll find more diamonds. That's that's the game plan here. I found my first iron of the day, and it was just one block. All right. Oh, there's a little bit more. Oh wow! Actually, I passed a bunch. Wow. <coughs> so far, we've already got 11 iron. Let me grab some more here. And lots of spooky noises. Okay. The only thing I'm glad about this, swimming around in an underwater cave is honestly the weirdest thing I've ever done in this game. Like, it's just so out of the ordinary. Like, you're just not used to doing it. It's just, it's whack. Ow. This is actually such a good find to find some lapis because I'm going to need this to enchant. I didn't even think about that when I was talking about the enchanting table earlier. I literally didn't even think, oh, I'm going to need lapis if I actually want to enchant. Alrighty, from that whole dive, that's actually kind of cool to call it a dive instead of like a mining session. From that whole dive, I was able to find 18 magma blocks, 28 iron ingots. Let's freaking go. I think I looked it up online. It said it's 24 to make a full set of iron armor. So we are definitely going to be making a full set of iron armor because that is absolutely crucial. And then we also got about 34 coal and some lap and 56 lapis. So not a bad haul really so i'm just gonna wait for that iron to smelt i decided that while i wait for my iron to cook i'm gonna go get some more wood i i just grabbed like 16 logs uh i definitely think that's enough for making tools and stuff all right all my iron is done so it is now time to make full set of iron gear and i mainly got that wood so i can make myself a flipping shield because i am going to need one very very badly all right there we go now we are fully equipped and ready to go well i guess we're not fully equipped we got one more thing we're gonna make before we go i would like to make a diamond sword get a little bit of damage up in here not better than that garbage stone one i got um real quickly i'm gonna go run through that little mine over there and see if there's a little bit of iron i want to see if i can get a few more buckets make it a little easier to transverse the land okay i learned that when i first stand on my magma block it'll actually damage me this first initial like <coughs> down here and i try to click shift so it doesn't hurt me it will actually it damages me if i have my armor on so i don't want to run the durability down and this just leads back into my little cave that i've been in for a while 
Yeah, I guess there's a little cave here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, whoa! There's some iron right here. No way. How did I not see this when I was grabbing stone earlier? Dang. Heck yeah. This is just what I need. Yes. Give me more iron. This is just what I need. Here we go. Here we go. Get more of the best item in the game right here. Yes. Okay, so we got two more buckets, so that should help us move around a lot easier. And we got my full set of iron gear. We got a diamond sword now and a shield. I think we're ready to take on the pillager village now. It took me over an hour to just go into that village and do my little quick mining session. Uh, just trying to move around on land is literally like this it is like that speed that is i feel like that's how fast i'm going i'm going as fast as that turtle was going over my crafting table i go so slow all right so i'm gonna just shove everything i don't need in here so i don't lose it and get my water buckets and yeah i think i'm ready to go go for it i really hope i don't die because if i die that's gonna actually i'll bring a little bed with me to reset my spawn point just in case and i'll bring a chest and a sword with my leather hat i'll have my leather hat on so I'll just throw this on and we're gonna get going so i'll see you guys when i get there i wonder if going around this way will get me close to the villager the pillager outpost we'll just check real fast i mean the music is like super good anyways so i mean it's just it's, it's really nice and soothing and relaxing to just go is that an ice like iceberg isn't that like a rare spawn? The iceberg places? Jeez. Jeez, okay. What's going on there, guys? Hello. Man, I'm going to actually kill that guy and get that shell. Because if I can get those and a conduit, if I can find a sink. Oh, no way. Yeah. Because then we can build stuff that makes it so I can breathe underwater. And then I could... Yeah, that'd be so sick. No way. There it is. Is it right next to a village or is that a pyramid okay oh my gosh i didn't bring food no i have to go back ah i'll be back so now i have lots of food i'm good to go i got everything i need now we can sail back no way hello hello yes 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 where am i going where am i going yes 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 fishies give you bones come here buddy oh my goodness how lucky can i get this random dog shows up and he's done he's good he's my friend wow no way yes dude minecraft dogs are the freaking best all right i want you to come over here and sit oh yes Let's push you up on the shore right here. Yes, there you go. You just wait there, buddy. I will be back with some treasure. All right? You just chill. I don't want you dying on me. Hopefully this mining fatigue is gone. All right, now I got to sail all the way back over there. A few moments later. All right, and there she is. Okay, it's an abandoned village. What? Why are there so many villages? It's, on, it's actually insane how many villages there are. I mean, is there really any cooler spot to fight these guys than in an abandoned village? Like, their tower is literally in the middle of an abandoned village. Like, this is just such a cool, like, scenic area. Like, I don't think it can get any cooler than this. And awesome, there's actually a bed I saw inside of here. Yep. So, we can just set this as my spawn. Come on. There you go, spawn point set. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we want the chest. We want the chest in here. I don't know how they haven't seen me yet, but we're, we're going in. This is the strat with the bucket, though. I guess... All right. You know, guys, don't mind me. I'm just going to come in and do my thing. Oh, yeah. They've noticed me. They noticed. All right, all right, all right. let's go. Let's get him. Oh, gosh. Come on. Crouch. Okay, this isn't as hard as it would be, actually. Alright, alright, come on, come on. Yes, the shield! 
The shield is the ultimate strat. You can't beat the shield. Yes. The shield is OP. Yeah, that's right. Bring it on. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. They hit each other. They were going to fight. Wait, he kept shooting him anyways. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? Hey, come here. Ah, come on. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. Come on. Come on. There we go. Heck yeah. And okay, they're dropping me arrows, which actually would be is actually going to be super nice to fight later on. Okay, at least. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. The guy with the enchanted one. Come on, can I get a bounce? Get a good bounce? Is he big brain or something? One more. Block it. Hit him, hit him. <gasps> yes. What do we got here? Come on, can I sit like right here? Okay, we'll just go to that infinite water source over here. Yes, I want to see what's on that thing. See what we, what we got. Piercing one. I mean, okay. Not really sure if that's good or not, but it sounds like it's kind of good. Uh, you just get out of the way. I'm going in this tower whether you like it or not. I mean, not gonna lie, this is literally the ultimate, uh, like, repelling. Like, the, ult the ultimate defense. Alright, finally, after going the longest way I possibly could to get inside, I have found the entrance. So, let's get on in here. As slow as possible. Okay, I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone. Okay, we'll just place another one right there. Hopefully it'll... Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, we'll just grab some more water real fast. Let's get some more water. See, like, they literally can't do anything. There's all these zombies. I mean, that guy wants to beat me with a stick, but he can't. Because all the water is around me, and it just pushes them all back, and it's literally the best thing ever. Um, I saw someone. Yeah, there is someone out there. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm just going to raid your little outpost. No one still. Okay. This is where it gets tricky because it's all like... Come on. Nah, I knew that was going to happen. Let's see. Oh, I, yeah, I can place this water bucket here and then I can use this to drop down to this stream. And then I can grab more water. Her. Come on. Come on. Perfect. There we go. Alright, and we'll just bring this back up with this. Come on. Still no treasure, but I think I just have this one more floor to go. Come on, is there a guy up here? There's a spider. Come here. You stand no match from the diamond sword. Yeah, the diamond sword was definitely the way to go. I'll just have to find more diamonds eventually. And then I can, you know, kind of just place that in there. Yes. Let's freaking go. I'm going to get you out of the way because I don't want to step on that again. Because that's not allowed. That is not okay. And here we go. Come on. Just bounce up. Place that. And. Yes. It goes this way. Okay. I don't want to fall off. So actually, I'm just going to kind of steal all these stairs. Because I need to like block off a spot so I can stand still. And I don't, I don't know. What's in here? Okay. I mean, I really wanted diamonds, but. And this, what you see right here on screen, is what it shows in my editing for the next five minutes of my footage. It uh, completely froze and is stuck just like this. But for a little reca recap of what happened towards the end, I left the pillager outpost, killed a few mobs, showed a skeleton who's boss with my new shield, grabbed some hay bales, and got back to my boat to show you guys all my loot. This is what I got for my loot. I jumped back on the game and took a little screenshot of my inventory so you guys could see. But thank you for watching all the way till the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy, please drop a subscription down below and comment. It would help me a lot and let me know that I'm doing a good job and I'll keep making these videos for you guys to enjoy. Thank you and have a great day. See ya.